feet. But good footwork, but again, what a start. The knees race, a good pick of champ here. And Rebecca Ellington is bringing it home. What a great start for USA. Their confidence is almost frightening. What a cracking bolt. It was way up in the rafters. That was terrific. Unbelievable. That was real powerful gymnastics. She is the best we've ever seen. They've grabbed this competition by the scruff of the neck. Oh. So incredible. It's job done, isn't it? The USA are women's team champions. Hello and welcome to the second day of action at the World Gymnastics Championships here in Tokyo. Yesterday it was the women's team final and the Americans seem to be on a higher plane. But our British women made history. Their fifth place was the highest ever at a World Championships. The key to their success was calmness, a clear head and ultimate focus. Today it's the turn of the men, but can the highly fancied Japanese team keep their heads and the British lost theirs? They didn't make the top eight. But they did start well, and according to rings, vault and parallel bars, qualifying for the final, and more importantly the Olympics, was looking odds on. But hang on, as one British gymnast was saying to another, it was time for high bar. What happened on high bar? Just... What did the high bar do to you? To me? Um, I think Russell was first up, yeah, and um, he missed one of his moves, so, I mean, that, that was a bit of a shock, and then Dan Keaton's, you know, he, he st actually slipped off the bar. managed to go clean which is why and then um, you know Chris and Sam didn't manage to pull off the routines but I mean they are big routines that they're doing so I mean it does happen. Yeah, I could kind of sense things were a little bit weary you know, and just before floor you know I got everyone together and I said come on guys we've worked too hard for this um, you know let, let's not give up until it's over you know let's keep going you know and you guys went on to floor and absolutely did the best yeah, things absolutely. yeah they could do and mm. uh, it's quite it's quite um, good to see that no one had given up, everyone was still fighting. Well, it yeah. certainly seems that your, your problems don't lie with, you know, lack of moves or ability or anything like that. So, what do you put the problem down, not making that top eight? To be honest, I think everyone's, you know, had a talk about it. And no one's really, you know, too sure what happened. Everyone was fit, everyone was ready. I mean, maybe it's just the fact we uh, qualified fourth last year in the team final, which is, like, amazing. Yeah. And this year, maybe people expected too much, you know, to qualify straight away. So. Did, did you think that you expected too much yourselves? Um, I think everyone, if they hit our routines, you know, we expect it to go through. You don't really expect failure, but I mean, obviously, you know, it, it can happen. Because I had to wait five hour operators to do my part yeah. routine, so I spent the whole time kind of geeing everyone up and getting into it and getting everyone going, and then all of a sudden I had to kind of shump, get, you know, get into the zone, and, and uh, you know, there's a few wobbles on pommel horse, and I really needed to get through mine, you know, not just for me, yeah. but, uh, but for the team as well, and I kind of got the job, job done. You did, yeah. Uh, and got the second highest score. Yeah, I on, mean, on the, horse, the whole competition. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm happy just because of the, the, the pressure that I was feeling. You know, yeah. I landed and the relief. You know, I, I gave uh, Britain, you know, its fighting chance to, you know, try and cling on to eighth place, and also, you know, I gave myself a good chance of uh, qualifying for the finals. Dan, I mean, you've got this test event now, uh, just after Christmas. Mm. You're not going to have a very relaxing Christmas let's say are you? I know I think everyone was looking forward to uh, a bit of a rest you know putting yeah. on a bit of weight Christmas pudding and that but <laughs> I think uh, it'd be pretty hard going now. You know we've got to put this into perspective we are looking at the top 12 teams in the world that will make Olympics you sit in 10th at the moment the chances are you're going to do pretty well in this test. Yeah I mean we came 10th with pretty much the, the worst competition we could have done. Yeah um, yeah. You know the fact that we can only you know build on this and get better than this you know we should qualify 
you know, I don't want to say we are because anything can happen in gymnastics. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, but we've got the strongest team we've ever had. You know, the boys are good. Um, so it's all about going to that test event in January, yeah. sacrificing our Christmas puddings, like Perry <laughs> said, and uh, you know, just proving to everyone that you know we can do it, and we are there, and we. Yeah. We do want to qualify for all teams the Olympics. So the eight teams that we see compete here have qualified for the Olympics and we will see them in London in nine months' time. Now joining me here in the commentary box, as always, is Mitch Fenner and Christine Still. And we are preparing to be thoroughly entertained by high-flying difficulty and strength that will blow you away. Mitch, who are you most looking forward to seeing? It's got to be Japan. Yeah. Back to the days of the 60s and 70s when they were dominating World Championship gymnastics for the men. And the atmosphere in qualification was amazing. Yeah. They worked with one head. They were thinking of team, not individuals. It really is going to be a hot final night in Japan. I think are going to take. Okay. Well, what about America, Christine? Because the women, I mean, they that, that seem to have the characteristics of a bullet train arriving in town, and the men seem to be in a similar frame of mind. Yeah. Well, that typifies really all the American teams we've always seen. Yeah. However, sometimes they've been a bit short of finesse. This team are very well trained, good technique, and uh, they perform fabulously in qualification. They beat off the challenge of the Olympic champions, China. So it's really going to be a hot contest tonight. Indeed. This competition is going to be a real belt, and this is how the men's team final will play out. Three gymnasts up, and all three scores count. The gymnasts will take through six pieces of the way, as all the scores are added together, and the team with the highest will be crowned men's team world champions. Kohai Uchimura gets Japan's bid. The World Championship gold medal underway. Second on floor at the last World Championships. All round world champion. He qualified fifth. The floor. Here he goes. One and a half twist, half turn, one and three quarter out. Nice steady start there. Little puff of the cheeks. Keeping it under control. Nice double twist. A little bit deep on the landing. Good steady start is what they need. Ah, double pike with half turn out from the Arabian approach. Touch of class there. Two and a half twist in one and a half. He really is. He seems to have more air time than anybody else. Incredible young gymnast. Lovely extension on that simple roll even. One and a half twist in one and three. It sounds complicated and it is. And he made it look so easy. Triple twist, he puts all the way around. Little hop back, the great start. He finishes the twist, sees the floor, rolls straight out. He turns so quickly. Look how he wraps that double twist in. Sets the somersault up, and he's as good on the hands as he is in the air, twisting. Snaps from the floor, lifts high wraps in, feet locked together, and this is a triple twist where many of the gymnasts lose their leg form. Meets the floor exactly. Arias, over car. Romania. Second of the Romanian vultures, 26 years old. And a really dynamic approach, and he just didn't make the correct contact on the top. Yeah, the block, his hands just slid along the top of the table. Absolutely, and a very good job that he realised it just was going wrong, and he didn't go in for the second somersault. 15.466 for Kohai Uchimura. What a start for Japan. And Mignon. the second Chinese pommel horse routine. First one, Chen Yubing, scored 14. Classic extension at the front of the swing. 
lovely body at the back, easily through the Wuji. And would you believe that's a Chinese made move as well? Now, on the handle, how long is he going to stay there? Very quick and easy, not too complicated. Step down. This is a triple Russian. Building very nicely. Not the most difficult, but this is good, clean pommel swing. Zavado travelled backwards. And here comes the dismount sequence, but that was bent arm and a little bit laboured. The judges will be very sharp on that. It's just happy to get through that one, I think. My word. It wasn't their best piece in qualification. They actually qualified with the, uh, the sixth highest score, so it was actually their joint worst. But, uh, yeah, high fives all around. Yes. Well, they were very iffy in qualification, the Chinese team, on most pieces of apparatus, really. And uh, he's been brought in to steady the ship, I think. 14.766. For the 26-year-old, Berbacar scores zero. If you don't land on your feet, then feet first, then it's a zero, whatever you do. Teng Haibin, the last of the Chinese gymnasts up onto Pommel Horse. He did qualify for the Pommel final, so looking for a big score, keep China in contention in their title and this wonderful style shows you exactly why he's scored so well but he caught his feet just on the end there lifts well and high above the pommel horse have to travel work on the handle do double leg work and single leg work and he just looks so confident here comes some of the single leg work breaks into it Beautiful lift through the hips at the front of the swing. And must have a difficult dismount. Pirouettes well. A very classy performance. Indeed. Well, he was Olympic champion back in Athens. So things so far so good for Japan. Kojo Yamuro. Hope to keep the momentum going. A friendly rival of Uchimura. They've grown up through the junior ranks. He actually beat Uchimura when he was 17. But that was the last time. <laughs> now 22. <laughs> Something to tell his grandchildren. Yeah. One and a half twist. Nicely done into double twist. And this guy is a ring specialist. You'd never believe it. He's hopping along on the floor beautifully. Double Arabian. And all the preparation coming through. Oh, two and a half twist and just bounced it back a little the two and a half half twist out almost as if well, let's just calm down and he did that beautifully rock solid hugely powerful yeah, a little look to the side then just to see if the uh, the audience was appreciating what they're seeing. There we go. Relaxing of the shoulders, he's into the final tumble, double tap, kicked it out. It still landed slightly low, but that is for a third man up. Oh, they've been consistent. And so calm as well. I mean, it's just, there's just an air of calmness and confidence and beauty about it. So ordered. <laughs> That's the thing about their approach, isn't it, Chris? Yeah. They've got such a relaxed approach. It belies what's going on underneath, a bit like the swan in the... That's in the right, bottom. although I think he's quite a lot more dynamic than some of the others. Shows a bit more character through his performance and really gave this some power. Look, half turn in, double front, call this a double Arabian, and he kicked it out so well. 15.7. 15.233 for Teng Hyabin. Puts China into second at the moment. 